Is it? Top heavy. Top heavy. Single stitch. Top heavy single stitch. What is it? 1991 Elvis Presley. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's have a look. Top heavy. Made in Australia. Vintage Elvis. The king of clothing. Three years, still yet to find a member. Really? Kathmandu. Kids one? Women's 12. Mm -hmm. No good. This. Jeez, I wish this was for sale. That thing is epic. Really good shoe brand, this one. Ultra, these are the Torrin 4s. Still in pretty good nick. I think we'll definitely grab these. Don't know about these. General Nimbus 22s. Bit of a fabric tear there. I think these Puma shoes could be good. I'm not 100% sure. I always look for that clear mold at the bottom of the stud, uh, which these ones have got, but I'm probably gonna have to do a bit of research into them. However, they are in good nick and they're only priced up at $6, so I think that could definitely be worth it. Oh, there's a HR puffing stuff, VHS over there. Nah, I think I'll pass. What you got? Just some bread and butter. Bread and, and butters? Like a um, local jacket that sometimes they sell. Does well? Yeah. Like... Aeronet Leagues. Aeronet Leagues, yeah. I think it's like a rugby one. What about this one? I haven't even looked at this yet. It's Kappa. Yeah. Mag no. Proc Crusades. No, probably not, hey? It's getting cold now, so all the, all the jackets are out. Yeah, true. Shoes. Ultras? Yeah. And these footy boots are six. Oh, sick. Yeah, I haven't looked into them. Sometimes the pin ones go. I know. Yeah, not bad. I'm just going through the DVDs and the video games and I've come across one. This one here. We've got Marvel Avengers. It's um it's six dollars, but they were comps on eBay around the thirty to thirty-five dollar price point, so not a lot of sales um history on it, just the one. Um, but I'm just going to run the play. It's a bit of a collection set, which is probably what I look for commonly in the DVD game. Um, so yeah, six bucks, not too bad. All these uh, DVDs though, are all a dollar a disc. So four disc set, four dollar price point. And when you try and find complete series, you're going to be paying like 30 to $40. Like this one's a great show, Heartbeat, four dollars complete fourth season but you just want to find a bunch of them like this is a good example right here Ali McBeal five disc set so they're going to be five dollars a piece so you got 20 bucks for a partial set so super super tough in this store to find some profit but we may have just done so with this one how cool is this Harley Davidson surely somebody would love that they just don't you can glue them so I said I'll give you five bucks so that's if, epic. If, if you go to Bunnies and you get shoe glue. Shoe glue? That's what I put my soles back on with and right. it really works. These are a really cool pair of shoes. Absolutely fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, well played. Yeah. Is, is that the box for those? <laughs> <laughs> the box. So, okay. Are oh, they still okay? No, these are um, oh. Ultra. Ultra. Is there shoes in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing in there. Just the box. We've got to put out yet. All right, you want to go first? You're pretty stacked up. All right, well, we're underway. I've got a pair of shoes and a DVD. And Jax has got a bunch of clothing. Jax was saying that the Elvis single stitch um, vintage, how much? 75 listed. Yeah, it's probably got about 50 bucks for it. 50 for it, yeah. I think that's probably fair. It's it's not sold, it's just live. Yeah, it's just live, yeah. Yeah, but still, a single stitch vintage Elvis tee. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. Nine bucks. Yeah, that's all right. Pretty damn cheap. Um, so first store down, Jackson's got a whole lot more than me so far. So hopefully I can catch up in the next store. Have they rebranded this? No, they just took off that. That was a bridal from there. They changed the colour of the front. It used to be blue. Is it just that's all New South Wales too? 
Dude, that's cool. That's really tight. <laughs> what about this jersey? No, that's a kid's scare. Any more? That's a hat down there. Ooh. Kids jacket. I still think that's worth it. Oh, dude, these are great. Oh, they're playing shorts. Are they? Yeah, because they got the patch. See the patch? Dude, they are. They could be even player issue. Yeah, they probably might be. What's that? Rev. Wow, they're small though, eh? Dude, they're two dollars. Yeah. Get those. Size thirty-two as well. They look to me like they are player. Yeah, they got the um. Yeah. I don't know. The, to me, they're player issued. Could be. Yeah. It's sublimate, like yeah. whatever that. Oh yeah. Like that's the real deal. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And kept out the back until now, probably. Right. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, oh, yes, they got pulled out. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you got a couple of games, right? Exactly. So it's only the beginning. We could have done it like in the last one and been yeah, really, true. really slow. You don't want to get that? No, nah, it's a kid's one. It's a kid's bit smaller, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these two are. Yeah, these are cool. We've okay. just got two Maroons hats the other day, so New South Wales ones will be right. A couple of vintage ones. It's the vintage ones that always do best. Yeah, I really like it. This one looks promising, but I'd have to do some research to see if it's good or not. What else do we have here? Never heard of this show. Some good price points in here, actually. Just two dollars each is really, really good. Uh, so that seventy show does well. If we had a few more seasons, that goes for about seventy or eighty. This is a good show, Jack Irish. If we had a few more of them. It's always the case in these stores. You never get the full sets. You just get partials, and I'm not doing partials anymore. Um, Check out the Dr. Seuss books. Holy! <laughs> wow. Jeez, that's crazy. So yeah, I think we've just got this one at the moment. Just spied these as well. I'll be curious to see what the price point is on them. Very clean pair of gel superior fives, and they're only the twelve dollars. Soles are in fairly decent condition. No, oh, that's the beginning of a fabric tear. You can't buy these shoes when they've got these fabric tears. So unfortunately, I'm not even going to look it up. I'm going to put it back on the shelf. It's all that rugby league gear. That's our national rugby league over here in Australia. And right now there's a three game series currently on. So the thrift store here would have held on to that stuff when it came in and she brought it out obviously um, for this time of year. So, you know, good for her to get the sale, but even better for Jack's because I think those footy shorts are potentially player issued state of origin shorts. And that could be in hundreds of dollars worth of value. Um, and it was only $2. And then you got the vintage hat as well. So. Yeah, you know, there's $150 in value coming out of this store from State of Origin gear, and sports gear has always done really well for the both of us. Um, it's a shame that I'm out here with Jax because that would have been in my store if I wasn't with him. But I'm wrapped for him, and thrifting with friends is what it's all about. Now, we've got two stores here. We've got a Vinnie's store, and then I really like this one here. It's called Momentum Collective. There's a lot of like electronics and hard goods in here. Um, so we're gonna run into both of them, and yeah, I'm, I'm, we're gonna go in this one first, but I'm looking forward to Momentum. Wow. That is awesome. $2 for the Palisers. I've sold this one a number of times before.
Dude, even this sort of stuff can do well. Yeah? Yeah. Like a certain model. Look at that. That looks cool. It's like a protective barrier on it. It's all the detail on the back that you want to read. And this one here, it's the 2018 Ford Mustang GT, but it's from Motomax Toy Factory. So I'll be searching up Motomax Toy Factory to see if it could be worth it. So when I'm looking at board games, I'm always looking for the brand new and sealed games. And I've just found this one here. It's only $6, brand new sealed. It's called Wogopoly with uh, that Geonopolis guy. So next thing is to just look it up and see how much it's worth. It's a tricky one because it's just gonna cost a little bit to ship off. I'll ask Jax, we'll get his opinion. What would you do on this? It's um, a brand new and sealed board game. It goes for about 40. <laughs> Wogopoly. It's only Wogopoly. six. Would you go six in a 40 for an item that big? No, it's hard because you can't weigh it up because it feels like it's over a kilo. Yeah. So that'll be straight away like 17 bucks now, isn't it? I think it'll be around 15 with the discount. With the discount, yeah. So that's like 21 in, take fees. You're going to make about 15. It's better than a couple of DVDs. Yeah. I think I'll do it. Unfortunately, it looks like it's just a bunch of speakers. Yep, that's a shame. A couple of projectors. There's this TIAC device for $20, the HDB840. Don't know what that's worth. That is a real shame. I don't even know if like Jarvis, like $5 Jarvis voice one's a little bit corroded there, you can see, but... I know Jamie knows his fishing reels really well. But I wouldn't know what I'm looking at, guys. You still GG? Yep. New attacks? Ooh. Look at that, actually. 504. Look at those, look. Oh, wow. Funky. They're only $5. Have to. <laughs> Have to. Good size. That'd be men's. Red tab, Levi's. That is nice. Just one pair of jeans for five dollars. Uh, probably only going to go thirty-five on these, so nothing too crazy. Um, Jax has got a couple of bread and butter clothing items. Filling up your bag there, Jax. Your two bags in. Yeah, I reckon you get more than thirty-five on those. Do you think? Yeah, new with tags. What do you reckon? I'd go like seventy bucks. Really? Yeah. Because they're new with tags. Well, new with tags and they've got the embroidery on. Yeah, okay. So, interesting. All right, maybe I'll go 70. Have a look at it. That yours, is it? <laughs> I reckon this mobster car up here is probably my favourite. Check this out. Look at that thing. That's cool. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, we're now at this Vinnie's store in uh, Tugan here on the Gold Coast. So we've moved from Tweed and Coolangatta to Tugan, and this store is actually my favorite, this Vinnie's store. So if you're in town, come and check it out. This is why I love this store. Super Mario Galaxy 2, and look at this. We've got Super Mario Galaxy as well. I think this one does better. I think this is worth about 60 and this one's worth about 40. So we're talking about $100 in games, which is incredible. Now these, these are good. An old school Keanu 20 for $6. People actually collect these, believe it or not, guys, and different colorways can do really, really well. The soles are actually still in great condition on these too, so very, very happy with this one. Oh, they count it. Yeah, Kayano 20s. Are they good ones? Yeah, because the old school colorways are sought after. We have got a big tub of DVDs, and from the looks of it, guys, these are actually TV shows, which is really exciting. 
So we've got, oh, I don't know about $15, but one, two, and three of Game of Thrones. That sells for about 80 if you've got eight seasons. So if we found some more up here, maybe. Um, this is a good show too, but the issue with this one is it's quite a big one for shipping. Um, costs a little bit. So what do they got it? $6 for just one season, but there it is there when the boat comes in. That is a good show, and there's a couple of different series here. Look, we've got series three, series two, so it looks like series one to four. So I don't know what the comps say on that, but series one to four, unfortunately, as you can see, it's quite large, so the shipment, shipment won't be great. And then it looks like some CDs down the bottom here. Looks like we've got some decent titles here. Got Evolve. Got Mortal Kombat X. I haven't seen this one before. The Phantom Pain. Day one edition. Kill Zone. They're all four bucks. It's a good price. All right, I've just comped them out and it's those four. They are the winners. These, unfortunately, are the losers. Well, well, well. We have another scenario here on a very expensive purchase. It's a dry bone short coat. It's a size five, but it's priced at a hundred dollars. I don't know. We sold a trench coat for about 230 or so. This one's a short coat, so I don't know if it's going to be worth as much. I need to do some research, but we sold the other one really, really fast. I just don't know if $100 is worth it. We bought the last one for 80 Yeah, I just had a look at the comps, and it looks like they're actually all valued at around this price, about 130 I think just because it's a short coat, just actually devalues it ever so slightly compared to the bigger ones, the full-bodied coats. So for that reason, short coat. If it was 50 or maybe 40, I'd probably do it. But 100, unfortunately, just a little bit too steep. It's a cheeky billabong one. Oh, you do well on these. A Y2K one. A y what, what sort of value would you get on that? I don't know. Probably like 35 bucks. Nice. What well, they got in store? It's, just, well, it's nine bucks. Nine. These are a pretty epic shoe. So these are the Lonzo Ball basketball shoes. Um, 30 bucks here in store. They, there it is there, RGB, I think it's Lonzo Ball, made different, um, but they were size 9, so do some research, see what we got for value. So these are actually the RJ Barrett um, Rise Nitro Puma basketball shoes, which I didn't realise, uh, I thought they were Lonzo Ball, but pretty good. 30, I don't know about that though. But uh, I think it comes for about 75. So 75, we'll probably just leave them. The most important stop of the day, Jax. We're gonna slam some of these. We've got some meat pies. I could easily run through all of this as well. Oh, even those little things look good too. But to fuel the thrift trip, you're gonna need one sausage roll and you're gonna need one uh, steak and pepper pie. You're going to the plane. It's the plane, Jane. I love you. Just found these. Got some Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith books. There's a set here. They're only 50 cents. I think Andy Griffith does actually pretty well. These look like obviously the, the bum. Andy Griffith. I think it'd just be these. Kids books, yeah, they're really cool. I like these older ones. Yeah, well, the ones down, uh, I'm going to just about take them down to the kids section. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, I might take them, hey? Yeah, come and have a look down the kids section. This is where all these are going. There might be a few more, hey? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You never know. Yeah, some, uh, yeah that's awesome. Film wizardry thing here. Oh, wow. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Harry Potter film wizardry, yeah, I like that too. No more Andy Griffith though, from the looks of it, hey? Uh, no, obviously not. Just no, the ones you got yeah, there. Yeah. Look at this bundle of Andy Griffith. That's a set, or three different sets. 
And then this one down here. That one, the Warriors one. The Warriors, yeah. Um, it's missing volume five. But I've never seen it in hardcover, so they've probably got a bit more. I think the hardcovers should do well. Yeah. That's rad though. Indy 300. Yeah, it's cool, yeah. 2004, so technically vintage. That's nice. Technically vintage death stock. It's scary that so, 2004 is vintage. No, no, it's not, it's no shoes? No, no shoes. We found the Doc Martens. They were in good condition. They were a size 7. There's a little bit of wear on the sole there, but for $39, I cannot say no. Oh. Jax has just found me these. We've got some Boston Celtics basketball shorts. It's got the Adidas. It's a little bit crinkled, a little bit wrecked, but they are only $6, and they're a size medium. I think with the Celtics in the finals over in the NBA right now, these might be worthwhile going ahead with. Oh, this is a good one. Brothers and sisters, the complete series. Good one here, Jax. Brothers and sisters, the complete series. There's actually a fair few that's come out here. Look at this. Some of the oh, yeah, so that's in the oak. Bro, that could be great. I've never even heard of that. The anthology. I think that's meant to be alright too. It's a fair bit out. Mm. 28, I might do that. That's sealed, you can't complain. NBA 75th anniversary. 115. But that's men's size 5. Those are youth ones. 30 bucks, not bad. That's nice. That's a women's. Yeah. What size? Small. Small for six bucks. Anything on the back? I think that'd do well. You reckon? Yeah. Just that super dry. Yeah, that's nice. Gotta check the returns back. Always check the fashion returns. Jax is pulling out some steals. Oh, I know what I'm after. This one right here. 